Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about my hovercraft that I built here. And it is really good hovercraft. This is actually a flight test design. And this is my make of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit through it. Um, <clears throat> so first here is the battery, the compartment with all electronics in it. What I did for that, I've just got two ESCs. And I've got a little Y splitter so it plugs into the battery and then this two plugs into the ESCs. So then nothing really goes in here. But in the battery stores right here with a little Velcro strap. So then you wrap I wrap the ESCs in this little compartment. I put this little compartment here to keep it from getting wet from all the snow, because that's what I mainly drive it in. And then it just goes back here and it attaches the motor. The motor is just attached to a piece of wood from here to here. You could use an, a wooden roller or whatever you want. So there's just a piece of wood spaced out from in the circle, from the side to side of the circle. And then for the back one, there's just a made piece of wood and then a little support for the piece of wood so it'll fall over. And then I've got some, for the big circle here, I've got some wooden support here and on both sides and then the little servo is in back here with my rudder and the rudder is the main support for this back center circle so it seems to work really good it's pretty beaten up because i've had the thing for two years i've actually got some weight on this side too to counteract this over here because all the, there's two ESCs over here so it kind of gets a little heavy okay and then for the bag down here it's just if you you can feel kind of is that go, I'm tracing out the edge line here. There's a little square. Okay, and that goes back here. Um, there's a little piece in there, and then it's just taped this certain circle down here. So that's what the bottom looks like. So the air just blows water, it blows, this propeller blows air down into the compartment, and it fills up this bag, and then the rest of the air goes through these holes. So that's how that works. I really like if you got any questions on it, please comment down below and I would be more than happy to answer them. Um, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Have a great day.